T7M Radio brings to you Crosswords Battle Raps One on One Debate Podcast with your host and moderator, Seven Mitchell. All right, welcome back, people, to Crosswords Seven Mitchell T7M Radio. Man, we got to talk about another fucking potential classic that could be in the making for 2019. In my opinion, this shit is going down. We talked about St. Louis just couple days ago here on crosswords about um i brought up and i highlighted jersey i highlighted the west coast we got hitman holla and new jersey twerk exchanging some words on social media going back and forth now uh hitman took an approach that niggas ain't even headlined an event yet talking crazy to hitman talk about how uh twerk used to watch his battles on christmas and you know twerk like i sure did but now look so it's all about now like it's getting real spicy between hitman holla and new jersey twerk this shit could be a fucking classic in the making is these niggas gonna suit up do they need to suit up man i'm bringing the homie from out queens i got the shooter joining me shooter what's popping g what's up what's up oh man cooling now you feel different than how i'm feeling i'm thinking this shit would be bananas What's your just initial thoughts on Twerk and and Hitman? He'll be fired, but Twerk not ready. Twerk not ready for Hitman? How the how? Mm-mm. You got to look at it. Look at the old format of the way URL used to be. All these new cats, again, all these battles in one year. They have no longevity. They haven't proven themselves, really. They just getting spoon-fed. He will die. That's ridiculous, man. Come on, really? You, you sitting up here and saying that Twerk has got spoon fed over the last year or two? Yeah. These new cats are being spoon fed. It ain't the days where we had three events in a year and they had to really work to get to the top. They're the only people that can battle, so they're getting spoon fed. Is New Jersey Twerk not top five battle rap performer right now actively in battle rap? Right now, yeah, by default. And Hitman as well as top five as far as performance. Hitman is top one or two performance all time. Forget but, top five. Okay, but the wordplay is so different, man. You're not going to sit up here and tell me, Shooter, that, that Hitman's word, his pen can match uh, New Jersey twerks. Are you kidding me? All right. When is the last time Kayshawn lost? I feel like Danny Myers was the... Well, no, I, Geechee got him. I just had Geechee beating uh, K-Shine. And before that, I had Danny beating K-Shine. But I, I had him winning all his battles in between those two. You said can Hitman do it. Hitman beat K-Shine. Was it something that in seven? That was... Did, wasn't, didn't he battle Hitman this year or the, in the it, last year? It was a couple years ago. But what I'm saying is... I don't think the penmanship compares between Hitman and Twerk. And they both top five performers. So just off of default, I'm looking like Twerk could easily beat Hitman Holler. I don't know what the fuss is about. Twerk just got beat by Arsenal. But Arsenal left for some time then came back. So you think you see what Arsenal did to him? You think Hitman will do that? I see what I see what Twerk did to your boy Aver. He beat Verb all this that year. That was a debatable. Come that on. was a debatable. Well, that's, it that's, can go either way. But that's good enough to me if he getting these types of plates and, and he making it debatable with Averb and shit like that. Come on, man. And this is on the Smack series as well? Come on. What are we doing? He had a debatable with Verb. We're not going to sit here and act like he cleaned Verb up. No, we're not going to do that. All right, well, check this out, man. This is Crosswords T7M Radio, man, with Seven Mitchell. We're talking about Hitman Holla versus uh, New Jersey Twerk, possibly. We had some call-outs on social media. A couple key points I want to bring up. Um, shoot, I want you to help me break this down because I just talked about <laughs> St. Louis. I just talked about St. Louis a couple days ago here on Crosswords, making an a impact move in 2019. Um, I highlighted a couple teams or groups that they probably would have to lock in with, uh, namely Jersey and Cali. So we got Jersey and St. Louis right here before our eyes with Hitman and New Jersey twerk. So St. Louis, what what's your thoughts on St. Louis really being a power move 
in 2019 with Verb, Hitman, Young Ill, and possibly B Magic? Uh, I don't know if they're gonna be a power move because I think they made their mark in battle rap already. It's not much that they can do to shock the world, but I do feel like they're gonna be a factor. Now explain this to me because someone tried to tried to tell me that it, there was one point of the game that St. Louis ran battle rap. No, they didn't run. They never ran battle rap. What they did was they added a competitive spark to it. They ain't never run it because you got to look at it like this. It was a whole Midwest movement, and the Midwest was battling the Midwest. So you can't never say St. Louis was in control because it was a whole region. Well, answer this then. Why is your man, since it was Midwest on Midwest, why has your man Averb been ducking Calico? Averb did not duck, is not ducking Calico. Calico gets booked when Calico want to get booked. RBE has a license to print money and bring it to bring it to Adam. I bet you would get booked. I don't know, man. Salute to the live chat. Big Al was in the building, my guy. Visual for Battle Rap Boutique, one third of the union, man. Salute to everybody that's in the live stream. Y'all, let me know, man. Drop some comments in the live stream. Let me know who y'all got winning if this battle was to go down in 2019 between New Jersey Twerk and uh, Hitman Holler, man. If this thing really do um, pan out. Now, looking at some of the tweets um, on social media, uh, Shooter, Hitman Holler felt like Twerk ain't headlined an event yet, like he talking crazy. Do you think that Twerk do not deserve a battle of this magnitude? Because I think that's, I think, I think that he be in Hollywood with that approach. I think Twerk definitely deserves a battle versus Hitman, but do you think he be in Hollywood with that type of uh, energy? Hitman is being Hollywood because Twerk he, he, he ha- even though I feel like some of his he's getting spoon fed but he does deserve it because you could give somebody the battles it's up to them to perform and make it look good and you can't sit here and say Twerk not making these battles look good who will win a battle bottom line 2019 if these two really would stand in front of each other small room main stage I don't know if that would matter to you but who will win between Hitman and, and, and Twerk small room Twerk big stage Hitman so the venue matters to you? It matters very much so. Wow. Wow. This is Crosswords Man 7, Mitchell T7 on Radio. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. I got the big homie, the shooter with Queens, man. We talking Hitman Holler versus New Jersey. Twerk said they shoot up. Um, so you got Hitman in a, in a on a big stage, but Twerk in a small room. Mm-hmm. Why Twerk in a small room? Because his bars is better, right? It, it's more impactful, and then you got to think about it this way. This plays a factor. Twerk is like six five, two eighty. In a small room where he's just singing and moving, it's going to look dangerous. Somebody that big doing all that in a small room, you better be prepared for it. Can St. Louis make some real noise versus Jersey if they was the matchup? I mean, there is already some history. We done seen Hitman battle Arsenal, and I think uh, Averb has battled Twerk, and I think probably Arsenal and O-Red. So we got a little bit of history between St. Louis and, and Jersey. But if they was to really go at it in 2019, you think um, you think St. Louis would, would be the victor, win more than lose more if we was to pair them up? First, we're going to have to see what happens with Young Ill and what Young Ill returns this year. If Ice Pack come back, St. Louis could do it. But if Young Ill come back and he still look, eh, they're going to die. Yeah, it can get ugly, man. I'm not going to lie. It could definitely get ugly for um, Young Ill. Uh, but the, 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 the St. Louis squad, man, they look to be – to, to be serious and making a comeback for 2019. Uh, another point I wanted to talk about is legend status when it comes to this battle. Does 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 Hitman need a New Jersey twerk battle on his resume? Does that do anything for him? And on the flip side, if New Jersey twerk was to get the battle versus Hitman and win, is twerk on his way to being probably the quickest legend in battle rap if if twerk gets the battle win it does something for him but i feel like you can't be a legend without longevity you could you could 
You could have to like look at the Warriors. You could go seventy three and nine. You still lost the championship, so it don't matter. That's a fact. You have to do it. You have to do it for a long period of time. Like everybody talks about the goat. When you give me somebody that did it for over ten years for a long period of time on a consistent base like T Rex, then we could talk about him getting off that chair. Salute to the live stream, man. T7L Radio. This is Crosswords. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Shout out to Dark Web. Dark Web said, what would URL be without Ice Pack, Ill, A Verb, and Hitman? So maybe I'm being a little bit disrespectful, man, as far as St. Louis, what they really brought to the table. I, you know, I, I just, when they told me, when someone told me that they ran Battle Rap at one point, I was just like, when? I was just no, like, when? I could say the Midwest ran Battle Rap. At a time, the Midwest was one of the most dangerous forces you could you could go up against. But St. Louis, just them, no, because you got to think about it. It was Ice Pack, it was Verb, it was Hitman. You had X Factor. Surf came home from jail, and his first battle was X Factor. Right. And what he said, I heard the Midwest moving, so it was all the region as a whole, not just one place. Gotcha. You don't think Twerk is on his way right now? Wait a minute. If if New Jersey, wait a minute. And I don't. You might need, say I might need to be drug tested, Queens. I'm gonna keep it real. If New Jersey Twerk's career ended right now, he wouldn't be considered a legend in battle rap. No, you can't be a legend off of two years. No, impossible. There's no way. It, in the, it, there's no way in the world New Jersey Twerk could be a legend right now. With all the impact from mainstream celebrities acknowledging him, from all the big battles he got, from having the signature move strapped in, from having one of the biggest, baddest groups in battle rap, um, being one of the most talked about artists in battle, like, I, I don't think this is so easy for you to dance around. I'm not talking Mount Rushmore. But I think, Nick, I don't know. I'm going to pull a surf right here and use a basketball reference, right? Well, when we think of basketball, we think of three names. Kobe, Jordan, LeBron, right? Right. So if I come so if I come in the league, right, and I average 35 for two years and win one championship, am I a legend? Not at all. Not at all. Same, same thing with battle rap. If you come in here for two years and, and mess shit up and battle rap, and battle rap lives on for 20 more years, but see, we're not going to be talking about you in but, 20 years. But to me, you're changing the narrative because Twerk is not coming in the game fucking this shit up, man. Twerk is being... Twerk got this shit lit, man. You being right disrespectful. <laughs> I need to see longevity. X Factor X Factor was dangerous at one time. Where is he? Marv 1 was dangerous at one time. Where is he? When, when has any of these guys that you name had the star quality, the potential as New Jersey twerk? Like, this guy's out of this world. Yo, some feel like this boy not human. His pen is crazy. Right. His pen is way now, on another level than Hitman. You, you said that, right? Everybody know when Surf go home, when Surf go to jail, when he come home, he hands pick his, he hand picks his battles, right? As he should. He's a he's a he's he's arguably guard tier, so you gotta strategize. That's the problem with some artists now. They just taking so many battles for the bag, they not strategizing. These niggas really don't wanna be great no more. Niggas really don't care about being great. I think well, twerk, twerk is on his I, way. No, he needs to be more he needs more longevity. He can't do it with just oh two years. God. I need to see I need to see a T Rex run from Twerk for me to call him a legend. See, but see, this is this is where I get off of the bus with this because we have people in the battle rap community complaining about New Jersey twerk battling too much or taking too many battles. Now you need to see longevity like we can't have it both ways. No, the reason why people are saying that is because the format that the URL are using now. The URL used to have three, four events a year. Now they have like nine, ten. You don't need to be on nine, ten of cards. All I need to see is for let's say the span of five years, three to four impact performances for you in that span. I don't need to see you 10 times each year for three years. Now you're oversaturating yourself. Like you said, what Surf did, when you get to that level, you have to hand pick it and just not take a whole bunch of battles. But I need to see twerk for five years, three to four battles each year, 
run it. You no, you're oversaturating New Jersey Twerk because five years of of five years of what we've gotten from him already, it's gonna be nothing else for him to do. He running through competition, man, making hella moves right now, man. And uh, all right, look at the goat T Rex. There's nothing left for T Rex to do. Cause you know what he did for ten years, T Rex was running the game. That's how you get to a GOAT level. That's how you become a legend. For 10 years, T-Rex was whooping people out. What's left for T-Rex now? People, if you guys would like to be a special battle rap debate guest here on Crosswords, make sure y'all shoot us an email with the topic of your choice, t7mradio at gmail.com. We'll definitely bring you on to the stream uh, Monday through Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we drop new editions of the show. We sitting here chopping it up. Me and the shooter talking about Hitman Holler versus New Jersey Twerk. Should they be suiting up in 2019? So you feel like at the end of the day, depending on the venue, um, it could go either way. Hitman in the big venue, Twerk on the small stage. You feel like Twerk is not a legend. You can't be a legend in this small period of time. That's your argument. That's where you at. Big facts. I don't know, yo. I don't know, and I'm looking at the I'm looking at the chat. A lot of people are agreeing with you. They're saying that he cannot be a legend, uh, or you know, this early. But I've just never seen a battle rapper. We and I've been doing this for about four years, five years. I've never seen a battle rapper get this much hype behind his name and his brand like this before. Y yes, we have. Who? All right. When the whole B Magic. B Magic, B Magic, when B Magic came on the scene, he, yo, Clips was arguably undefeated. B Magic got him out of here. B Magic was one of the hottest names in battle rap at the time. He even got booked on the biggest card in, one of the biggest cards in battle rap history where he battled on Daylight. B Magic was twerk before. I got to talk to the bosses, man. I got to talk we to the bosses. With, you are literally sitting up Adam. here campaign B Magic to New Jersey twerk you now B Magic was a problem back then I'm not gonna lie but we come on really no it's not comparing them like battle rap no 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 the impact they had in battle rap that's what I'm comparing I'm not comparing but, them. but my, but no, my no, thing no, about no. that's my thing impact I don't remember any celebrities any mainstream celebrities really shouting out um you know B Magic like that I don't remember B Magic really building his own brand building his own group I, you know, he had impact as far as being able to, you know, punch. But as far as being marketable and, and what? Be Magic on so the wait, same wait. level as Twerk? Hell no. Never. And you especially me Be Magic and, wasn't marketable? No, not not like this. Not like this. Yes, Look, he was. Come it, on, man. Yo. Yo, back in them days, Be Magic could have headlined the card. No way. No way. What type of card? Wait. What type of... I'm, okay, I, I take that back. I take that back because B-Magic was smoking. But what I'm saying is this. Headlining a card and being a headliner is two different things to me. You can't just put B-Magic against anybody as a main event. It's got to make sense as well. So it's not all right. really all on yo. All right. Where was B-Magic seated on the card and where was B-Magic Tay Rock on the card? Those were top. I don't know exactly how how deep into the event those battles went down, but those were towards main events. Those were top notch battles. I don't want to take nothing away from B Magic, but he to me is not on the same fucking level in the same stratosphere as New Jersey Twerk when they come to right now, especially in 2018 with social media the way shit is popping on Twitter and everywhere else, Instagram. B Magic wasn't lit like this, yo. I'm sorry, A Verb. Hitman Holler, they ran St. Louis back then. B Magic was getting his respect, but I no. I mean, you gonna have to agree to disagree with that. I don't. I can't. I can't put my finger on you comparing B Magic potential and star quality to Twerks. No, I'm creating. Oh no, I'm comparing the impact that they had. If they was to the battle, Twerk will get him out of here quick. But I'm talking about the impact when they first started. B Magic beat are arguably undefeated clips. He had a debatable with Tay Rock. He beat DNA. B Magic, when B Magic came in, was setting fire to people. This is unbelievable. Shout out to Bobby Tsunami. He said these newer guys are getting spoon fed and they reap the benefits of what the vets built. 
so he can't compare them to the vets and i heard that same argument earlier and that's crazy to me because some of these i newcomers, told you but some of these newcomers are way more lit than niggas that we done seen for years i mean no disrespect and i don't want to i really don't want to call out names but this is the first name i thought you brought up excel excel has been in the game for a minute you're not going to tell me that twerk ain't popping or lit more than excel he way more lit than excel you know, you but you want to know why Excel never reaped the benefits of what the um the vets did. Excel got out of that contract. Remember, Excel signed a contract to URL. It was like, I'm not holding myself in. I'm out of here. And you already know when you slap the hand that the URL tried to feed you with, they try to blackball you. They try to get you out of here. <laughs> talk that talk, talk that fucking talk, Queens. Excel was fire too. We not gonna say he wasn't. No, he was, but XL is fire. I'm not even going to say was. I think that's being disrespectful to say was. XL is fire, you know, but he ain't marketable like Twerk. Y'all Speaking say, of XL, mm -hmm. he battling Queens, I believe, on the 29th. Yeah. He battled next week, I think, in but Queens. I think XL has reached his prime. I don't think we're going to see any more greater XL than what we've already seen. I mean, he still can be good. Um, but I don't, you know, I, certain battle rappers, I just feel like they've reached their prime. The game has changed a little bit. So know. so you're not going to tell me the reason why twerking and get this, get this, this attention is not because of the Rex 10 years. It's not because of the surfs. It's not because of the clips. It's not because of DNA. Yo, it's just a, com a combination of things, yo. We, we looking at somebody, like I said, he got his own group that's lit. He got a signature move that's crazy. His signature move is standing right next to your man's signature move. Your man Aver. You know, Strap but you gotta... and Showtime are like right next to each other. And, you know, every and, and the fans are begging for this nigga. Everywhere you go, whether it's Houston, whether it's the West Coast, whether it's out in London, whether it's New York, the, everybody is begging for twerk. DMV, it, you know, the, the people love him. Twerk came into battle rap at the right time when battle rap was dying for a star. So how is this nigga not a potential legend in this game right now? I mean, if his career stopped right now, I, I'm I mean I'm probably I'm being far fetched. But if if New Jersey Twerk career really was to stop right now, when I look at the overall body of work, I would call him a legend. I, I think his you name, got... his profile, everything. I think is he's uh, you can never forget. You have to put him. You have to staple him. With this, it, it, I mean, how can you how can you overlook New Jersey twerk when you look at battle rap now? I'm gonna tell you how right now. I'm gonna use basketball once again. We we are we hold dear to LeBron, Kobe, and Jordan. You want to know why they did it for so many years? LeBron, it was like what six, seven straight finals. LeBron, if LeBron would have went to the finals two straight years in his career and never again. Are we talking about LeBron? No. Who remembers that Smush Parker got one or two championships? Nobody. Because it's Smush Parker. Now, we remember the work Kobe put in because he did it for... The key word when you say legend is longevity. Okay. You can't be a legend without longevity. Okay. It's no way in hell. All right, that's what it is, man. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Y'all let me know in the comments section what y'all think about Hitman Holler and New Jersey twerk suiting up possibly in 2019. This is Crosswords. I'm Seven Mitchell, T7 on Radio. If you guys would like to donate to the network, man, we definitely appreciate all the support. Donation links are in the description box. Also, the T7M Radio Battle Rap Debate Group. Uh, links for that is in the description box. Y'all definitely got to join us 24-7, 365. We chopping it up, debating battle rap. But Hitman Holler, New Jersey twerk, talking spicy on social media today. It could be a movie, the start of something crazy in 2019. Big up to my guy, the Queens. So, Queens, you saying, well, where would you prefer this shit? Before we get out of here, where would you prefer the battle? Small room or main stage? I say main stage because these two are the best performers. Hitman in a small room. His bars ain't fucking with Twerk. I think Twerk will clean his ass up. Even though I said Twerk will, will win in the small room, I want to see it in the small room. All right, there you have it. Shout out to Queens, man. This is Crosswords, T7M Radio 7 Mitchell, man. Y'all stay safe. Subscribe to the channel. We can get up out of here, man. Y'all be good. Peace.